Hey, good evening everyone. This is Marla Stones from the Netherlands. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I would like to share you tonight um, how to make a fancy blinking LED card. Um, I gave a workshop to a, um, a team, uh, well actually my uh, Stampin' Up! team of my Uplead um, last Saturday and uh, during that workshop I showed um, this fancy blinking LED house, lighthouse LED card and everyone was so enthusiastic that they said we want to know how, we want to know how. Uh, during the afternoon they were allowed to, uh, or they were actually able, I explained how to make the blinking uh, LED house card. But I also um, had this uh, tasty truck um, example card with me. Um, and because the LED lighthouse was a bit complicated to make, well, there were a lot of steps and a lot of precautions involved, um, I actually promised to make a tutorial about how to make this uh, tasty truck card. Um, to show you, I will um, actually uh, start from uh, the beginning and I will only show you how to make um, the truck. Um, so the base card etc, that's up to you because in the end you will have a truck that you can put on any base card. Uh, so I will only do that part in this video. To start, we need a tasty truck that has been stamped. And my first try wasn't that neat, so I'm going to color in this one. I'm going to use um, the uh, watercolor pencils that are in the um, occasional catalog. And I'm going to use my blender pen and my aqua painter, two of my favorite tools uh, for coloring. And again, this Tasty Trucks is a celebration article, so you don't have to pay for it and you get it free for every 60 euros you spend. So let's start coloring. So what I did is I put a hole in the truck, I bent my lead a bit and I put the lead in the truck and let's put that with two dimensionals or two half dimensionals. because it will be lifting up all the time. You can also attach it at the end. Yep. Is we're going to put that on top of the candy bus, the tasty truck, and we want to have current flowing through the battery. So we want to connect the copper foil tape that is over here with the copper foil tape that is over there. So that's what we're going to do. We cut a piece of copper foil tape. Which we put... Well, let's first put a small piece below here.
like this. And then let's take the part, bigger part. Well, we know that the bread is moving down here, so we need, we want to have it well, until there. So we cut like this, and we put copper foil tape over here until they are where we want it, like this. Now we want to attach our LED to our um, battery and as, as I said we need this resistance in between so we're going to do it a bit unhandy. I'm going to bend my To embed it a bit like that. I'm going to bend this one and I'm going to bend that one such that we will be touching our battery over here. And we're going to do this together and then in the end we want to have the battery moved further there. So we're going to do this copper fold tape like this. It's not the neatest way how I put it together now. But it's already late and if it works, it works. So if you have a LED light that doesn't need a resistance, then you can simply leave this out. Then you can simply connect the LED to the plus percentage, put it on the other part and then it's all done. So you can leave the resistance out and it's a bit easier. But be because I'm using an orange LED light that needs the resistance, I need to put it in between because otherwise it's broken after a few minutes of blinking. Let's first glue the battery to the truck. And again, make sure there's no glue between the battery and the copper foil tape because then it won't redirect the current. So like this. Let's attach our resistance. Let me first check whether it works anyway. Maybe I put the battery on the wrong side up. Oh no, it works, so it's good. We're good to go. So well this is basically it. We have our LED light, we attach the one side 
to copper foil tape and we attach the other side via the battery to copper foil tape and we slide our bread from the one side to the other side on the truck. And that's basically how it's done with the blinking light in the truck. If you see that it's not blinking, maybe the bread is warped, so like with me because I just turned it down, or the truck. Well, you can try to have a smaller piece of foam tape here. Or you can put a bit of foam tape on the cart, like I did here. Not really sure whether you can see it, but just put a bit of foam tape behind the truck. So that if you put in the bread, it will be pushed up again by the foam tape. And it will blink, no matter what. So you now know how to make a circuit on the Tasty Truck and I hope you enjoy. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.